it's very difficult to talk about, but I'm yeah. glad we are. Yeah. Um, I need to pivot, though, okay. if you don't mind. So sure. let's talk about Joe Biden okay. and your confrontation with him at the debate like we just saw. So back in January, you told NPR News, quote, you're not going to hear me criticize Joe Biden. I think he's a great guy. There's another woman of color in the race, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, who has denounced your attack as a, quote, political ploy, given that your position on busing doesn't seem all that different from Joe Biden. So I think a lot of people are curious what happened to that promise and what would you say to Congresswoman Gabbard? Um, I have no intention of attacking Joe Biden, but I am going to point out our differences of opinion on a very critical moment in the history of the United States. 1954, the United States Supreme Court unanimously decided Brown v. Board of Education because there were segregationists in the history of our country, including the members of the United States Senate, who lived their career and their reputations on the basis of ensuring that the races would not be educated together. So the issue came up before the debate at many days, if not weeks, which was the comments made about those segregationists and our difference of opinion about who they were. And that they worked on an issue that directly impacted me, which is this issue of busing. So listen, this is a presidential race. And I absolutely agree and believe and maintain that we should not have personal attacks against each other. We should not be attacking each other. But we're on a debate stage. A Biden oh, advisor on, but called we're on you a slick stage. and slippery. We're a on Biden a advisor just called well, you Well, you know what? We're on a debate stage. And if you have not prepared, and you're not ready for somebody to point out a difference of opinion about the history of segregation in our country and what was necessary to deal with that, which at that time was busing, then you're probably not ready. Kamala, no, a, very few, a lot of people were not for busing. I remember that. Black people, white people, everybody was sort of against it. There was like a small percentage. Uh, now that you look back on it, were you, are you think it's a good idea? If I were serving in the United States Senate 40 years ago, when Joe Biden was serving there, yes. we would have been on opposite sides. You would have said that busing is good. I'm good. I would, but let me right. tell you why. Because at that time, we had people leading state houses. We had people holding very high positions of authority and power in our country mm -hmm. who were dead set on the segregation of the races, yes. on the issue of, 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 of integration of our public schools. That's why Brown v. Board of Education had to go to the United States Supreme Court. That's why Earl Warren, mm -hmm. because this issue was so mm -hmm. important, if you read his history, he said, if this is such a fundamental issue about fairness in our country that it is critically important the court is unanimous mm -hmm. in this decision because this should not be about politics it is a, a, a core issue of what's right in our country and so and why did it have to go to the united states supreme court because there was violent and i'm not saying that word casually I know. violent resistance I to the to the desegregation of schools yeah. and i i think i hear what you're saying i think some of the criticism was there were t-shirts made immediately and that the, your photo was put up, I think, you know, within a few minutes of, of the statement being said. So I think that's what Congresswoman Gabbard was speaking of. With I haven't talked about it, but I just think that on this issue, it, it, we disagree. And it is and it should not be characterized as a personal conflict. Right. We, we disagree. OK. Mm -hmm. All right. Senator <laughs> Kamala Harris. No, no, no. I'm watching the thing move, and I am keep waiting yeah, for you to say moving. something else. You know, because I think, oh, well, Kamala, oh, she's leaving. I don't know what. So she's staying. She's, yeah, uh, no, I, 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 uh, I know now. Life. You'll have me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have you. She is sticking around because there's much, much more to, to talk about. Come back.